Well, drugs and alcohol land people in South Dakota's jails every day, and many of the suspects are repeat offenders. Just to give you an idea of just how common the crimes are, this map shows all the DUI, alcohol and drug-related arrests in the city of Sioux Falls in a single month. As you can see, no neighborhood is immune. Following an arrest, attorneys often tell judges their clients are trying to get help. Tonight, Kelly Kelly Volk takes a closer look at how to get started. Today, you can find Amanda Schofield working as the development manager at Tallgrass Recovery and Sober Living Homes. But years ago, she was here as a guest seeking help. Drinking was my crutch. Schofield checked in after she asked her sister to help her find a program. Executive Director John Somervold says loved ones are typically the ones to call first. He says searching online is a common way for families to find a place to turn. Usually they contact several providers. There's a tremendous amount of information out there. Then you have to find the one that fits both your needs and, uh, and your capacity. Somervold says one of the biggest barriers people face in seeking addiction help services is willingness and perception of the problem. Believing that they can get the time off of work, believing that it's actually a problem. And right now there's so much cultural acceptance around, around drugs. It's, if you're under 30, it's far more culturally acceptable to be high than it is to be falling down drunk. Schofield will soon mark three years of sobriety, and there's hope for others as well. I have never felt more energized and positive on the outlook of what's to come. Um, anything's possible now with the full confidence that I can love myself again and there's there's a world out there waiting for me. Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. On Tallgrass's beds were full in January and February, but now about half have opened up. The nonprofit can provide some financial assistance to people seeking help. If you'd like to donate to the fund or would like information on other financial resources, you can go to this story on Kelloland.com.